Hello, Perry Romanowski here, uh, and in this video I'm going to show you this really cool uh, website tool that I found. Um, I stumbled on it, and uh, it's actually one of the cooler things that I've seen put together by a supplier, and it, it particularly concerns how you go about picking a preservative. Uh, well, if you go to uh, this website here, um, Arch Chemicals, um, you can get to this thing that they call Formula Protect. And Formula Protect is just a checklist thing which asks you a few questions and it gives you suggestions on what type of preservative you, you should use. Now one of the problems that people have with preservatives is that uh, if you're selling it in different parts of the world there are different preservatives that are restricted from use. Uh, for example, you can't use formaldehyde donors in Japan. Um, and it's tough to know all of that information, uh, especially if you haven't uh, formulated around the world. But Lanza makes it really easy. So you go to Formula Protect, uh, click on their Formula Protect thing here, and it brings up this uh, page here and it's it's pretty simple you've got to put in some of this required information all of this stuff but let's just go through how you do that so suppose you have suppose you're making a skin lotion and you want to sell it in oh i don't know europe okay so we're going to use a skin lotion that we want to sell in europe so we could click on the spectrum now skin lotions are susceptible to all of these yeast mold and bacteria so we'll just click all of those and next we have to click on the next criteria which is the country now we said we want to sell it in Europe so we look for EU approved um, you might also put uh, echo cert if you wanted to make that claim but uh, we'll, we'll just leave it at uh, EU approved and let's check the next criteria. Then it's asking you the pH of your system. Usually a lotion system is going to be around 6, so 4.6 or 6 to 8. Let's make it 6 to 8. Next criteria. And then it asks you your formulation type. We said it was a skin lotion, so let's see if we have a choice here. Ah, here we go, lotion. Uh, it says just picked one, so we got that. Now it's asking us for liquid solid powder. Now this is the type of raw material you want. So what do you want to deal with? Do you want to deal with a liquid or a solid powder? Um, it's probably easiest to deal with liquids, but uh, solids and powders are nice uh, because um, it, you spend less money in, in freight charges. But let's say liquid because it's easier to put in. And then it's asking us what kind of other ingredients are in there. Um, it says we can click as many as we like. Um, in this formula, we'll have non-ionic uh, surfactants. Uh, we might have a polysorbate in here. But there's nothing, nothing else really. So click our next criteria. Um, and this is approved for... Uh, generally for a lotion, we're going to want this approved for eh, children, eye area, mucous membrane not as important. So, And then finally, the region, and this is just about you, um, North America, f formulator, and then you hit submit. So then it does a checklist here, and then you hit continue. And here are your results. So now it gives you a list of all the Lanza preservatives that you can use. And then you can go down and through and download the PDFs, which gives you the information specifically on those uh, preservatives. So that's really a nice way to narrow down things. Now I have to say you to actually read these PDFs, you have to uh, register with Lanza, but that's that's not a problem. And it really, this tool gives you an excellent way to get started on picking the kind of preservative you want. 
if you were formulating natural products, for example, you might pick uh, the EcoCert certification or the Soil Association certification, and then that way you're going to it'll avoid getting uh, things like uh, formaldehyde donors and parabens. So, uh, really great information. Uh, nice job, uh, Lanza, of putting this together. I hope that helps. I'm Perry Romanowski from Chemist Corner, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.